What were you thinking? Oh, hello to you too. What's your problem? I have read all your text messages to Raul. Whatever it is that you're doing, you need to stop now. I don't see anything wrong with what I'm doing. I'm just being friendly. Friendly? Yes, at the beginning you are being friendly. However, I don't think planning to go on a cruise together is right. So, can friends do that? Why don't we ask your husband? What the hell is your problem? My problem is that you're married and you're having an affair with my brother. Hey, it's not like I'm the only one. Your brother knows that I'm married, yet he's willing to take the risk. You need to stop this or I'll tell your husband. Oh, you know my husband can get quite violent when he gets angry. Are you sure you're willing to put your little brother at risk? Well, there's no need to tell him whom you're having an affair with. Like he wouldn't know. He can be oblivious to what's happening around him. But when he's alerted, he's quite good in finding the information that he needs. You can give it a try, but the question is, would you? Raul, we need to talk. Hey sis, talk. You know when I borrowed your phone earlier to transfer the photos that I took using your phone? Yo, boy. While I was using your phone, a text message came in from Jennifer. Yeah? I didn't know that you were friendly with her. Yo, yeah, we started talking when you invited me to come with you on her birthday. So, what happened? Well, she's kinda hot and she's fun. She likes doing exciting stuff, and I must confess that I really like her. You do know that she's married, right? Her husband was right there on her birthday. Yeah, but she's just staying in the marriage because he's threatening to hurt her family if she left him. We don't want it to happen, do we? You know what? She's playing you. I know her and her husband well. I don't know why she's doing this. Well, maybe she likes me. You have to be smarter than that. You are not thinking straight. Why is it so hard for you to believe that she likes me as myself? No strings at that. That's not what I meant. Or maybe you just didn't want it to come across like that, but that's honestly how you feel. Look, just stop it, okay? It's plain wrong. I'm old enough to make my own decisions and I can take care of myself. Thank you very much. I'm telling you to stop your affair with Jennifer. Oh what, you gonna take back the restaurant? Of course not. Look, I'm just looking out for you. You don't know her husband. He can get quite violent. I told you I can take care of myself. He may be bigger than me, but I have my ways. That doesn't make me feel better at all. Sis, just leave it to me. Stop worrying about it. Hey girl, I just confirmed what I was so afraid of. They're really having an affair? Oh, how I wish we could meet somewhere and talk in person, but my day is full and tonight's date night, so I really can't. It's okay, we can just talk now. Are you with a client? I'm about to meet one, but I have like 10 minutes before the client arrives. We'll be able to cover enough if we'll get on with it. Yes, well, I borrowed a Raoul's phone and a text message from Jennifer came in. She was asking about their plans to go on a cruise next month. I told you, I don't trust that girl. The first time I met her, she asked me lots of questions about your properties. Yeah, but she could just be nosy. I didn't have any idea that she'll have an affair with my brother. So, what did she do next? Well, I confronted Jennifer and she admitted to it. She even threatened that if I tell her husband about the affair, he might hurt Raul. Oh, the nerve of that girl. I know, right? Then I confront Raul. Oh, that one must be hard. Yeah, it was. He really likes her and he thinks that she really likes him too. Oh, what a mess. True. Now, what I'm wondering about is, what is it that Jennifer wants? Why is she doing this? I might have an idea. What? Well, the first time you introduced me to her as your real estate broker, she started asking me questions. At first, she was asking me about some properties that are for sale, so I thought she was interested in buying. But after a while, she started asking about your properties. Uh-uh. 
So I told her that the only commercial property that you have is the restaurant that you gave to Raul since you promised your parents that you'll take care of him right before they passed away. I think I'm about to have a massive headache. Well, she asked how much it costs and if it's the only business that you have. She even commented about how you must be a hell of a singer to be able to save enough to buy properties. I did not spend money on myself no matter how hard I wanted to. I know that I should save up first, invest, and then spending will follow once I'm settled. Why would she ask about that anyway? Now I don't have any answer to that. Thanks for the information though. That shed some light on what she wants from Raul. Now I just need to find out why she would be so interested in my source of income. How about I set up a meeting with her? I can tell her I have some interesting properties that I want to talk to her about, and I will try to get some information, whatever information I can get. That would be perfect. Thank you so much. I did it! Did what? I had a meeting with Jennifer. How did it go? Well, she said that it was perfect timing because she may be buying some properties soon. Really? Yes, and she said that she's planning to ask Raul to sell the restaurant and run away with her. She said that she will run away with him so she wants a property in a different state. Wow, I never thought she would really leave her husband for my brother. I told her that I don't understand you lately and that you seem distracted. She said that you might be worried but asked me not to tell you about anything that we talked about. Maybe she felt comfortable telling me stuff when I pretended that we had a fight. Did she say anything else? Get this. It's like she's holding a grudge against you. She said she asked to borrow money and that even though you married her rich brother, you didn't lend her a single cent. Well, my husband told me not to. Hey, no explanation needed. Anyway, she said something like she'll do anything to make you feel what she felt that time. How are you doing? I'm not really sure. Why? What's happening? Jennifer has been acting weird lately. She's been asking a lot of questions about you. Like what? A lot that I don't even remember the exact questions. Then yesterday she asked me to run away with her. I asked her about what would happen to my restaurant and she said we should sell it. Are you going to sell it? I'm actually torn. I love the restaurant, and I know that when I'm done partying, enjoying my youth, it's something that I can do until I get really old. And it's your gift to me. How about this? I will talk to Kelly, we can pretend to sell the restaurant, and that you are giving me back the money. However, it will be fake. The restaurant will still be yours. If nothing changes between you and Jennifer, then you can have the restaurant and I will give you enough so you can start a new business wherever you two are going. And if anything changes? Nothing, then you still have the restaurant. Sounds like I have nothing to lose and I love a challenge. I'm in. I don't know what you're playing at, but you're gonna regret this. Will you just stop threatening me? It's getting old. How dare you take back the money for the restaurant? Well, it was my restaurant. Why? You already gave it to Raul. You promised your dad parents that you will take care of him. What will happen to him if he doesn't have a business or money to start a new business? Why are you so worried about that? Because I love Raul. Oh really? How about you stop worrying about that and start worrying about your marriage to your husband, huh? Just stop it! You made a promise and you have to stick to it! You made a promise to your husband on your wedding day and you have to stick to it. Hey sis, are you busy right now? My set starts in an hour but I have time. Is there any problem? Well, when I told Jennifer that I will take her suggestion to sell the restaurant, she got so excited. She said we can start a new business, a new life in a new place. But when I told her that I would have to get a job because I will give you back the money that I will get for selling the restaurant, things change. Change how? Well, she told me that you don't deserve the money, but I do. She said that you gave the restaurant to me, but I work hard for it, so its value has increased significantly. 
then she got quite grumpy and now she's always busy and won't take my calls. Okay, I can't say I'm sorry about that, but maybe she's showing her true colors. Why don't you just end it? I don't know, I can't be sure. Maybe she's just having PMS or something. I think I'll wait another week and see what happened. Okay, just keep me posted. Look, I don't really like the idea of you getting hurt, but I know that you will hurt even more if your affair with Jennifer will go on. She's married, and that reason is enough to end things with her. Just remember that I love you, and I'm just looking out for you. Don't worry, I understand. Thanks. Okay, you win. Sorry, but you need to be more specific. I'm breaking up with Raul. Oh, that's great. Just don't expect me to thank you. I know that you were just after the restaurant. Did you think that selling that will hurt me? Of course it will. I just didn't think Raul would give up a future with me just because of his pride. You don't deserve to be happy. You don't deserve to be rich. You're really selfish and arrogant. You know what? I don't agree, but I don't have the time or the energy to argue with you. That's your opinion and you're entitled to that, so I'm not going to try to change your mind. I don't know what my brother is seizing you. Don't worry, I don't know what my brother saw in you too. I know what you saw in my brother, Joe. Without the restaurant, you're nothing. You'll be just waiting for my brother to give you money. That's where you're wrong. I'm doing good in my career. You see, I work hard for the money for years. I don't rely on a man to provide for my needs. Even without the restaurant, I have other investments. You keep telling me how selfish I am, but you seem to fail to understand that I was saving money for the future which you were asking to borrow just so you can continue gambling in the casino. Who's selfish now? Don't be smug now. This is the end. I will find a way to bring you down. Watch your back. Why do you hate me so much? Because you make it so easy for me to hate you. Can we be mature enough to discuss this like an adult? I don't care. Hey girl, I have big news. What is it? Things got messy with Jennifer. Why? What happened? Well, I don't know why, but she introduced me to her husband and her husband set up a meeting just a couple of days after. I asked if Jennifer would be there. And he said she won't. Hmm, probably planning an extravagant gift for her. Just the opposite. I got a bit nervous when he asked me if I don't mind not saying anything to Jennifer about our meeting. Uh-oh, so what did you say? I said yes, we could keep the meeting and whatever transpires during confidential. Why does he want to keep it confidential anyway? That's it. He was buying a property for his mistress. Mistress? Yep, she was there with him. He introduced her to me as his girlfriend of four years. Oh my, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually feel bad for Jennifer. Well, I'm thinking they deserve each other. Sis, I hate to say this, but I think you're right. When I told her that I would just work to earn enough money to put up a new restaurant, she complained that it will take years before I'll be able to save that kind of money. Then she said that her husband is starting to be suspicious that she's having an affair. Well, she is. I know, still. Then I reminded, then I reminded her that she said she would leave her husband for me. Then she went on about how it would be on her if something bad happens to her husband. I told her that she got me confused about what her plans for us are. What did she say? She said that she could have left him if she has any assurance of a bright future. I told her that we can work for that together, but it seems like she already lost interest. I'm really sorry. I wish I could say that I wish I wasn't, but you know that it was wrong from the very start. She's married, bro. I know, it's such a shame that I didn't see what she really wants. Don't worry, someday you'll meet the one for you. She won't be married and she won't be after money or revenge. I'm into that. I love you. I love you too. Thanks for looking out for me. 
Hey, just a heads up. I'm dating someone who's not married, not after money, or revenge, and even more fun, exciting, and definitely harder than Jennifer. Really? Well, it's about time. You've been single for almost half a year now. I was afraid you'll never get over Jennifer. Don't worry, I've actually been over her totally for a few months now. I made sure that my next relationship wouldn't be a rebound. The girl that I'm talking about is really special and she deserves nothing but the best. Okay, now I'm excited to meet the lucky girl. I'm more excited for you to meet her. Hey girl, coffee this afternoon? Sure, is there anything important that we have to talk about or is it just a casual catching up? There's been a lot going on in my life and I would really love to tell you all about it. You've been a part of all the important events in my life and you really need to know about this one. I take that it's nothing about Jennifer, right? Oh, I guarantee that it's not about her. But to tell you honestly, I'm kind of thankful that Jennifer did happen. Not that I'm thankful that Raul got hurt, but it paved the way to the major changes in my life. Okay then, if you will talk like this, you'll just make me wonder. I'll see you later then, you can update me about all these special events in your life right now. I was surprised, alright? Though looking back, I should have gotten an idea. But to be fair, I think no one would have guessed. I know you be. I just hope I snap a photo of your face when you saw us walked into the cafe. You look surprised, happy, sad, and confused. You actually look like you were about to cry. I couldn't help it. Even up to now, I'm still filled with different emotions that I'm confused about how I really feel. You really got me this time. I'm known to be the one who's full of surprises since we were young, but heads off to you this time. So, what do you think? Well, I think that you both deserve each other. I've known Kelly my whole life and I know that she's a good person. Who knows, if everything goes well, we would end up actually being sisters. Thanks, you don't know how much your approval means to me, especially about what happened with Jennifer. Well, I'm thankful that you gave me heads up even though I know that no heads up could ever prepare me for that one. Are you sure you don't feel weird about it? We were both worried about that, we don't want you to feel uncomfortable, and we don't want your friendship with Kelly get affected. No, not really, we're all adults and you should know that I'm rooting for you guys. I love you and you are a really nice guy. Likewise, Kelly is a really nice person and I can tell you that you both seriously love each other. Thank you so much, sis. After almost a year, Jennifer left her husband for a businessman. The husband didn't mind it because he knew she's just after money, that's why he had a girlfriend, whom he is going to marry soon. However, Jennifer's new husband's business went bankrupt shortly after. She tried to crawl back to her ex-husband, but it was too late for that. Raul and Kelly got engaged and are planning their wedding, which will be in four months. Theresa and Kelly remained best friends and she was able to save even more money that she will use in investments. She also got pregnant and is excited to give birth in a couple of months. Raul's restaurant became so successful that he opened another branch. He paid Theresa back when he was able to earn enough money and thank her for being such a good sister. In the end, Theresa was able to fulfill her promise to her parents. Hi dear, I have good news for you. Hi mom, are you back in the country? Yes, I am back. My sister and I landed a few hours ago. We have a lot of work to do though. Business has been booming. You will not believe the market there is for crocheting overseas. I did not want to leave. But I had to come for that expo in a few weeks. You are one of the best. Of course, they cannot get enough of your work. I wanted to ask you a tiny favor. Yes, what is it? Could you stay with us this time? I have already booked a motel. I do not want to intrude in your home. Well... Rihanna is heavily pregnant and not as active. I've gotten her nurses, but she argues with most of them. You think that she would listen to me when she treats healthcare professionals like that? Well, you have more patience with her than they do. Plus, you are her mother-in-law. She could never be mean to you. 
You have also given birth to four kids, so you will be able to help her out. If you do this for me, I will owe you anything that you want. Fine. The house is close enough to the mall for me to be able to conduct my business. And you are right. I have given birth to many kids. Plus, she is carrying my grandchild. You must be treated like royalty. You must see all that I bought for the baby. I know you did not know the gender, so I bought neutral colors. Mom, you should not have. But thank you. You can go to the house now. I can call a cab for you. She's home and she already knows that you are coming. Alright. We'll let you know when we are together. I am here. But all the doors and windows are locked. I thought you said that she's home. Please go and check next door. She has a friend there she might be visiting. I sent a message that I was five minutes away and she viewed it. But it is fine. I was also forgetful and confused when I was pregnant. I may go and get her. Thank you for doing this for me, Mom. Good morning, dear. I have left the house to go and buy some wool. Afterward, I will be meeting my sister. I left your pills on the bedside table. I have also cooked breakfast for you. If I remember, you do not eat pork, right? I made some toast with avocados, your favorite. I washed your clothes. I just need you to put them in the dryer when you wake up. Please take care of yourself and take it easy today. Who told you to make breakfast for me? I hate avocados. I cannot stand them now that I am pregnant. And you were in such a hurry that you forgot to put clothes in the dryer on your own. I put mine and my husband's clothes in the dryer but you can come back and do your own. I'm sorry. I was trying to help. Tomorrow's your scan, right? Yes. Do you have your bag ready? No, I do not feel like getting up. Please try to go for a walk today. My feet are sore. You lost, massaged them a few days ago, and you did not do a good enough job. Maybe because I was tired from running after you all day, you cannot even clean up after yourself. Every two seconds you tell me that you need something. Do not forget that I have a very important expo in a few days, and I need to be prepared. I have a lot to do. I know, okay? I'm sorry that I'm such a burden. Everything hurts. Sorry, dear. I did not mean to snap at you. My moods get intense at times, but I swear that I do not mean to be rude to you. It is okay. Do you need me to come back and make some food for you? Or will you manage? It is okay. You do not have to go out of your way. What are you coming back? I'm sending off an order to a client. You need to come home right now. I do not feel that good. What are you feeling? Nausea and hot flushes. I have three more packages to send out, then I will be back. No, you need to come right now. Do you want me to die? I'm pregnant and every second is crucial. I do not get why you are staying with us. Not even paying rent or bills for free when you cannot take care of me. Listen, girlie. I'm doing this as a favor to my son, not to you. Is that how you speak to your parents? I gave birth to and raised that man who is working to take care of you and your unborn child. I do not have to stay with you. I'm doing you a favor, even though I have a full-time job. Whatever. Do not bother coming home early. Take as much time as you need. I'll be lying here in pain. What have I done that was so bad that I had to be stuck with a daughter and law like her? I told you, sis. Leave the house. I cannot. She needs me. She's taking advantage of you. Come and stay with me at the motel. I know that I am leaving town after the expo, but you are planning to stay? I don't know. She is eight months along. That is not your home. Home is where the heart is, and my heart is here with my grandchild. You are taking care of her even though she has always been rude to you. Regardless of pregnancy, you should tell her like it is. Tell her to pick up after herself because you are not her servant. Take today as an example. You could not send out your orders in time because she drank milk even though she's lactose intolerant. She said that it was a craving. She is using her pregnancy as an excuse. You are 30 years older than her, yet she treats you like you are a teenager. You work very hard and are supposed to be resting, yet you wake up super early every day to make her favorite meals before she wakes up. Stop sucking up to her. 
It is just her pregnancy. Talking? She is not that bad of a person. She rejected our gifts at the wedding and gave them to the staff working that day. She said the gifts were not to her taste. Nah, she was being disrespectful. Anyways, are you ready for the expo in two days? More than ready. I finished what I was working on. It is such a wonderful opportunity to exchange ideas. I'm so glad that George is coming with me. That was the favor I got when I agreed to help take care of his wife. How's my nephew? I cannot wait to see him. He's doing well, just busy working very hard to buy things for the baby. She likes designer stuff. Do you know the gender yet? No. We have not discussed a gender reveal. Maybe you could do one. I don't know if she will want one. Yeah, you should ask her about it. But it would be nice to know the gender. Sorry, Mom, but we cannot make it. Why? What is wrong? Rihanna. She says that it is too far. Then leave her with her neighbor. I need you to be here. I'm so sorry, but she needs me. Okay, next time. Thank you for understanding. How dare you? What do you mean? If you are going to be a creep, then learn to hide your stuff well. What is this about? I found your little scrapbook. Why are you so obsessed with our baby? We have not even chosen yet, but you are already trying to choose names? And how are you so sure that it will be a boy? Oh, you must have seen my planning for a gender reveal. Turn over the page. You will also see a mood board for a girl's party as well. About the name thing. I was just throwing around names in case you need help with naming. It is up to you. No, you cannot stay with me anymore. What? You are suffocating me. You are involved in my life too much. I cannot even breathe. I do not want you in my house. You should leave. Pack your stuff and leave. What are you talking about? I said that I'm tired of you. You are so old-fashioned, have a terrible sense of style, and you should stop trying to be my mom. I hate having you stay at my house. You're always ruining my time with my husband. He has only ever listened to you since you moved in. I'm sorry. I was not aware that my presence was making you uncomfortable, but I will leave if that is what you want. The last thing I could ever want is to make you uncomfortable. Why did you throw my things outside? I said that I was leaving. My mother is on her way to my house. I did not want her to see you. Please take care of yourself even though you kicked me out like a dog. I will be here if you need anything. I was trying to do something nice for you. You overstayed your welcome. You control my every move and refuse to let me eat the food that I like. Because it is not healthy for you. Okay, I will leave. Take care. Mom, my wife said that you left suddenly. What is going on? I left my shop. There is a crisis and I had to suddenly leave. But if you check in my old room in the drawer, you will find my notes. Those are all the things that the nurse will need to take care of Rihanna. I understand, Mom. Thank you so much for doing so much already and staying as long as you have. Rihanna is sad that you had to leave. I'll be back soon to see my grandchild. Grandson. A boy? When did you find out? Yesterday. I told Rihanna to tell you. Did she not? She's busy right now planning a gender reveal. Have fun and take lots of pictures. What really happened with your daughter-in-law? What do you mean? She gave birth two days ago, but you have been postponing going to see her. Yet you cannot stop looking at the pictures of your grandson. Why would you assume that it is her? I'm just tired these days and too busy to go see the child. I sent a gift already. I am your older sister. I know you better than you know yourself. Spill it right now. She kicked me out last week. I lied to everyone and said that I left of my own accord. Why? She said that I was smothering her and not giving her enough space. What did George say? He knows nothing. Oh boy, you are too soft-hearted for your own good. You cannot allow her to do that to you. Who does she think she is? I do not want to strain their relationship. She has just given birth. So you're going to suffer? He might take her side or be angry with her. I want none of that. I'm sure she will cool down soon and then I will be able to go and visit my grandson. 
You are being too soft. Mom, when were you going to tell me that I am married to a liar? What are you talking about? Do not even lie. I have screenshots. I know that Rihanna was treating you badly and she kicked you out. It is fine, son. Do not be angry at her. How can I not be angry? I confronted her and she told me the truth that she kicked you out. Also, she threw your stuff out? You should have told me. What would you have done then? Kicked your pregnant wife out? There's no need to make a big deal out of it. Thank you, son. And please calm down. Do not make decisions in haste. I have a clear head. Okay, good. She really thinks that she has the authority to kick you out? You should have told her that this house is yours. I know that it is my house, but I gave it to you. You know that it reminds me too much of your late father, so as soon as you finished college, I allowed you to stay there. But the title deeds are yours. You raised me in this house. I know you let me say that this is my house, but you should have told her that she was disrespecting you in the house that you built with your husband. She was heavily pregnant. Well, now she's not. Hi, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for kicking you out of your house. I really did not know that we were living in your house. And you were not supposed to know. That house holds many good memories of me. But it also reminds me of my late husband when he passed away. I fell into such deep depression that I left town and stayed with my sister. I could not bring myself to sell the house, so I gave it to my oldest, your husband. What I did was inexcusable. I'm so sorry. I forgive you, but I suggest that you consider the way you treat people in the future. You are apologizing to me because of what you found out. But what about the people you are rude to on a daily basis? You are a mother now, and you should set a good example for your son. But I have not been rude to people. Are you forgetting that I was with you every day for weeks? I saw how you treated cashiers, waiters, and receptionists. You only respect people who have money or are in position of advantage over you. If you do not change that behavior, you will lose what you love. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mom, I cannot do this anymore. Rihanna and I are divorcing. She moved out of the house yesterday. Did she take Louis with her? No, she left me a note telling me that she was tired of taking care of this baby and that I should see what to do. She has been unbearable. I have given her everything, Mom. Even after how she treated you. But this cannot work. She left the baby. Son, do not worry. I'm coming to help you out. I'll move in for as long as you want. Thank you so much, Mom. I know how you feel about his house. It has been years since your father passed, and I lived there for two months. I think that I can live there indefinitely. Okay, Mom. See you soon. I have been staying with my son and taking care of baby Louis while he works. We named him Louis Fremont, after my late husband. My sister is helping me run my business. My son got divorced from Rihanna. Rihanna did not even try to fight for Louis. She went back to stay with her parents and is acting like she does not have a child. Baby Louis will never know her cruelty. He will be raised with love.